Hi guys, Karen here with another recipe and welcome back to our channel and today I will be making red rice um, and I'll be using the paella pan to do that. Um, this is a really simple yet flavorful rice um, and for this you're going to need some, you can use parboiled rice. I'm using a short grain rice here. Once again, this is part of the 10 pounds of rice that I need to use up really fast. Um, you're going to need some oil. I'm using canola oil today. Um, did I just say, okay, I'm using the paella pan today. Um, and you're going to need some thyme. I have fresh thyme here. You're going to need a large onion, garlic or garlic powder. You're going to need some peppers. Um, you can use bell peppers. I just have some peppers here. I am going to slice up some red peppers. Um, just a regular red bell pepper. Um, you're going to need salt. You're going to need pepper. You're going to need a can of tomato paste. You can use two cans of tomato paste or one can of tomato paste and one can of to diced tomatoes. You're going to need four cups of vegetable broth and that is because you're using two cups of rice. Okay. And you're going to need two teaspoons of sugar and you're going to need whatever type of sausage you want to use. I am using a the Tofurky uh, vegetarian sausage, um, but as I said, you can use whatever type of sausage um, you like. Um, so first things first, also you're going to uh, cook this and you're going to bake this for 25 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees and you're going to need to cover your pan. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is let this cook down all of the vegetables to so have the garlic, the onion, the peppers, and the um, sausage all together. And I'm going to let this cook down for about, it'll take probably about three to four minutes. I've added a teaspoon and a half of salt already. I've also added the black pepper and I'm just going to lay my thyme in. I'm not going to break it apart and that way I can pull it out when it's done. Okay, so to this now, you're going to add your tomato paste, the diced tomatoes, and the sugar. And make sure you taste to make sure it's seasoned properly. We're adding two teaspoons of sugar just to take away from some of the, um, uh, the kind of bitter flavor or um, acid that the tomatoes give off. Um, I don't know if you all do that to your spaghetti sauce, but I learned that trick from my mom. You always add a little bit of sugar, so we're just going to add two teaspoons. I'll show you all what it looks like when I have it all mixed in. This is what it looks like when it's all mixed in. Now we're going to add our uncooked two cups of rice. So you're just going to mix all this throughout and I'll show you what it looks like right before I put it in the oven. If you're using parboiled rice, you're only going to need two cups for this because there's only two cups of, there will only be two cups of that type of rice. If you're using any other type of rice, use the appropriate amount of water. In this case, um, I'm using the short grain rice, so I'm going to use four cups of vegetable broth. So 
I'm just going to mix all of this in and prepare it to go into the oven. Now you're going to put this in the oven for 25 minutes um, at 350 degrees and you want to cover it with some aluminum foil. And then I'll show you what the final product looks like. Okay guys, this is the final product. As you can see, I cannot taste it just yet. <laughs> All that steam's coming off of it. Um, it looks and smells delicious. It actually smells like holiday cooking. I don't know why, but um, it's really, really good. I hope you get a chance to try it. I hope you, if you have the paella pan, that you're able to, um, uh, you know, use it and play around with it. See what you see, what all you can do with it. So, um, like I said, I haven't tasted it quite yet, but it smells delicious because this is super hot. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.